Happy day, I'm <laughs> And I'm here with my good friend, Carly. Hi. Last time we were together, we were rating the looks on the Met Gala. We had some very strong opinions, and now we're gonna do the Met Gala 2021. We have very opposite styles. We usually have very strong opinions, but this year, the theme is in America, a lexicon of fashion. Very excited, what does that even mean? I don't know. Anna Wintour did add that it, she believes it's the future of American fashion, but a lot of people didn't seem to get that memo. So it's going to be a mix of the future and the past, but we're gonna give bonus points based on outfit and not context to what makes us feel. So we're just going on by like whatever we look at. Yes. We see it, America. America. Starting with Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish at the Met Gala. Look at that train, look at that figure. It very much matches her new aesthetic. It's giving me Marilyn Monroe and like, it's definitely giving me like a new age. Her eyes future. are just I know. Smoldering. She's wearing Oscar de la Renta. Um, she made a deal with them that they can never use fur again. They were happy to, but this is like the top 1% all meeting up. And if I was Oscar de la Renta, I would have paid for the social post that she put out about how they're not using fur. It's great PR, but that's me being cynical. Let's talk about the look. <laughs> to me, it's just a dress. And I feel like I've seen this at the Met Gala a million times before. The head is what makes it unique to me. It's her eyes that just like make the whole look stunning. Yes. So she could really be wearing anything. This is the tier list. Where do we put her? I'm going to say she hit the mark, but it's kind of the past, not the future. I agree. It's a nod to the past. She looks beautiful. We yeah. love her. It's a great nod to Americana. Yes. Very iconic. I wouldn't be comfortable with S or A. Absolutely not. She could sit pretty in B. She could sit pretty in B. Here's the problem. Her face to me is a B. The dress, I've seen it so many times before at the Met Gala, it's more of a C. So I could go in either of these tiers. I would say B. I don't think I would fight for her. I wouldn't fight for it either. So we're gonna do C. That seems like a hard grade, but we are brutal at grading. So this is actually pretty high. Now we have Rihanna and ASAP Rocky in Balenciaga. Okay, I really like these looks because they actually make me feel feel like America. Yeah. It, it, and like, I know I'm, I'm Canadian, so like, what do I know? But like the quilt. The quilt, the blanket, the mosaic. Here's my issue. Rihanna looks great, but I feel like I've seen her in this before. ASAP looks great, but he took off the blanket, the quilt, just to reveal a plain black suit. It really reminds me of 2020. Because we've been in blankets the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. And his colors make her shine a lot more. Because that's like what I was wearing when I watched it. So yeah, it's very current. I think they hit the mark. I think they deserve to be with Billy. I would put them at B. She shows up with a 40 foot train and they show up in blankets and you put them at B. Actually, the B is current though. It does make me feel, it makes me feel for the past and the present. This just makes me feel for the past. That's just a nod to the past. Yeah, these categories are reserved for the future. Lil Nas X, three looks. He started off in a cape. He's wearing Versace, of course. Looks like a king. Looks like a king, okay? Shows up like a king, wouldn't expect anything less from Lil Nas X. Changes into what looks like an action figure. When I think Americana, I think action figure. Takes it off, looks like a man from the future. Check me out, I'm wearing my Versace. I'm giving you three looks. I'm here, it's Versace. And what could be more American than showboating? That's what he did, he Ooh, showboated. that is a good take. The reveal too is like, bow, 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 bow. And I like how he did the reveals on the carpet. It's almost like he's taking off layers of who he is and then he's just like, he understood the assignment. He made a memorable moment, very futuresque. And he's really made a mark on, on fashion and aesthetics. He's been making a lot of people uncomfortable. He did it at the Met. I'm not completely wowed by each look individually, but his art was presented in unison with each other. I'd say he did pretty good. Yes. I would give him an A. I think his three looks and the amount of attention was better than a B. Megan the Stallion wearing coach. Now I love her. I would be looking for more pictures of this, but there wasn't a lot of movement to this dress. It's very much a uh, loofah. Looks like something you would wear to prom. Am I getting the future of American fashion from it? No. Do I get the future from her as an artist? Yes. Her hair and everything looks like old Hollywood. Yes. And, and I do love that look. However, it's pretty boring, very safe dress. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're not used to seeing safe from Megan. No, we're not used to it. I thought she was going to turn it out. I was so excited to see her on the car because everything that she's in, every time she comes on stage, I'm like, ah! so when this came out, I was like, I'm getting the past. I'm not getting the future. I'm getting uh, like a D level there. I'm getting a D level as well. Grimes, here to represent the alternative girl. Now we're talking about America, a lexicon of fashion. The alt girl needs her representation. Grimes has been, she has spearheaded alt girls and their fashion being mainstream. I really like the look too. I love the look. I love how she's completely covered, but it's see-through. It's very America, showing a lot of skin. The sword, like I, it, it suits her. It suits her aesthetic. Old drapery, new see-through. She understood the assignment. 
She understood the assignment and she looks great. I give her a B. A B? Above Bill. Oh, only because of the future aspect. She does look like she's from the future and we have to go with that because that is the assignment. <laughs> Lord, Lord showing up by bowed and ethereal look, uh, Statue of Liberty. It's not making me feel the way it should. And I want to feel. It's just, I think that we were looking forward to like a little bit more of a wow factor. Yes. Based on the patchwork, it looks like there's definitely a point of view. It looks like there's definitely an ode to something. I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, I don't see the future of this. Me neither. I'm just I don't the even past. see the assignment. I guess it's supposed to be like a Statue of Liberty. Now it's important to note, we don't know the context behind a lot of these. And I'm sure if we knew the context, we would have different opinions, but we're really trying to just go as best we can based on the look itself. D just because she did. She tried. It's more than a lot of people who showed up to this gala <laughs> can say. Troy Savant, arriving in an elegant look by Altu, Joseph Altuzera's new gender fluid collection. Okay, love that. Love that. He looks beautiful. He looks perfect. My issue is it's a black dress. It's a black dress. And it's the Met Gala. He, he looks so good. The it, thing is though, I am seeing is, the future. It is just a black dress. It's a black dress. But the way it's cut is so innovative. I mean, just because it's flattering doesn't change the fact that it's a black dress. Look would you hang it in a museum? That's what yeah. you said last time. Yeah, would you? No. Accessories are perfect too. Like everything that is going on there is perfect. It's a black dress, Cassie. It's a black dress, but I'm seeing the future. So I think he deserves, there's no future here, but she's still got C. There is the future here, but it's just a black dress. Lily Rose Depp in Chanel. She's wearing like the classic. Remember that episode of The Simpsons where Marge Simpson gets this Chanel and she, this Chanel dress <laughs> and she keeps cutting it up, making it into new outfits. Like I love how this looks like that. I love how it's very low waisted. It looks like the nineties. What could be more American than a pink tube top? I'm not really like one for tube tops, but- uh, Oh, but Terry it, it, hates like, them, but they're very American. You know what, I feel like like women like them more than men. Definitely. Like I always feel great in a tube top. <laughs> and then your boyfriend's like, nope. Nah, nah. I'm seeing the past, I'm not seeing the future here. D. And you could have gone so many different ways with Chanel. Here we have Dan Levy and Jonathan Anderson. This is an avant-garde. Met Gala look, I'm seeing the past. If you count the map, I'm not seeing the future. I can't see people wearing this in the future. I'm seeing the future in the statement that it's making. What's the statement? It's like an actual like working piece of art. I like everything about it and I can't tell you why. I like how it's a collared polo, two guys kissing on it and then all of this like crazy stuff going on. I like the creativity. For me, it's just too much and I have to really look at it to get what you're getting. I just think he looks great. It's an ode to American fashion how. It's a bunch of stuff from the globe put together, taken from other people, other places, and then all put together in a way that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> this is one of those things where I just don't understand the concept, but I'm still wowed by the outfit. I don't see the future. Okay. Gigi Hadid in Prada. Now, this is a simple look. I know that we were getting upset about simplicity before, but she's trying to be the <laughs> elegant, classy, chic mom. I'm a mom. I don't have to try okay. so hard. I was a disco ball last time. This time I'm here. I just want to be elegant. I want to be comfortable. I want to be pretty. I mean, she is all those things. I'm just bored. I'm bored too. I, I see the past with those gloves, with that hair. Yeah. I don't see the future. It's very elegant, old Hollywood. It's just definitely exciting, you know? All I'm getting is old Hollywood and that's it. So she looks beautiful, but we're gonna give her a D. Megan Fox, she was a staple of American fashion, the American dream woman. She disappeared, she had a rough go at it, and now she's back, she's everywhere. She's wearing the classic pinup girl bangs, an ode to the past, a classic, very burlesque style, kind of Vegas showgirl style dress. I'm seeing the past, I'm not seeing the future. I'm loving those bangs though. I'm loving the bangs too. A lot of people really hated them, but I love the pinup girl aesthetic. It makes you look like a soldier in a way. Like it makes you look mean. And I love that about it, the intimidation. But yeah, the dress on board, D. Addison Ray was invited to the gala this year. She's giving me um, Fox News anchor yeah. with that blonde hair. She's one of the most beautiful girls I've ever seen in my life, but I feel like this hair just really isn't doing it for me. The earrings, I don't know what that means. The dress, I don't know what that means. The hair, nothing is more American, could, especially for many decades, than this bleach blonde hair with the split ends sticking out. I feel like she could be going anywhere, anywhere. except for the Met Gala. Anywhere, and she's wearing a dress very similar to what Courtney wore for Christmas. Like, if she came to Christmas in this, people would be like, "You girl, you turned it out? I don't know about this. 
as a Met or like gala. a Halloween vampire. If the assignment was look rich, which it kind of is, it's like American fashion. She looks rich. She looks like a like a rich suburban housewife. All these people are forsaken because Anna Winter didn't say it was the future until the day of. Till the day of. Yeah, so everyone's just trying here. I feel like they should know when they're attending the yeah. gala that like maybe it might be the future no matter what it is. Oh, by the way, I put her in F. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's totally fine. So the floodgates this year were opened for the Met Gala, including the host, Emma Chamberlain. She looks beautiful. She looks stunning. The dress kind of gives me a future vibe in the way it's cut. I don't think I've ever seen this cut before. Maybe I have. It's the makeup that made me go, ha! The makeup is an S tier for me. Look how expensive she's she looks. Beautiful. She's beautiful. She looks expensive. And the other thing is that I wish that Addison Ray was to host and like take her spot as host and she was just invited as a guest because if anyone, if any creator deserves to be at a fashion show for fashion reasons for being a tastemaker, it is Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, it's she weird. She put Visco and, and like really on the map to like hit critical Ray has map. that personality. Yeah, that, she that does. Would Whereas Emma's a little bit more shy, she's a little bit more reserved, like she's obviously a YouTuber. All of that aside, she is a tastemaker. A lot of stuff she does, people copy it to the point where it becomes cringe. Like she has to change her fashion and she has not failed in doing that. She is constantly making the right decision. She's dressed by Louis Vuitton, by the way. I do have like, um, like by the colors in the pattern use, like a 60s, 70s kind of vibe. So there is past, but then it's made futuristic. Her face and the context for me puts her up really high, but the dress, I'm not super excited from it. I think that the assignment was under understood. At a B tier level. B! No, wait, 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 with wait, 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 wait. No, because she's got a little more futuristic. I think she's definitely with, with- Really? It's really hard. It's so hard. Because I'm not crazy about the dress. I'm either. not gagged about the dress. I'm gagged about her face. Yeah, it might be a D level. It's a D, but it's a loving D. Megan Fox is a loving D, and so is Megan. We have the AOC! AOC in the tax the rich, you know, dress. It's cool. It made a statement. Everybody was talking about it. It's very American. It's very it's American. Very brave. It's very current. And what do you think about the dress? I hate the dress. I hate it. Too. I'm not getting any future from it. She could have been wearing this dress anywhere. It's just a dress. I think like it's if you cool. take if you take the writing off. Oh, if she took the writing off, that's a straight F. But good thought-provoking art gets people talking. Mm -hmm. Whether they're hating on her for hanging out with the top 1% in this, the audacity. Or whether they're like, this is the place for her to, to display this message. That's how you make a statement. I hate the dress. I hate it. It's been a long few years for us, right? Like a long few years. And I think that we all just wanted everybody to dress up crazy. Yeah, like if you're gonna show off, you better show off. Yeah. Because Cause we we're can't bored. go anywhere. We're, we're bored. bored, we're lonely. We can't party like you guys did. We can't go to this event like you guys did. Like at least put on a show for us. She brought the show in the text, in the dress though. Not for me. I don't know, like even know much about this year's dresses and everybody that attended because I tried to watch a little bit of it and I fell asleep. It was boring. The theme is too broad. A lot of people didn't understand it. I don't have strong feelings about it like I did when people were coming up dressed as lamps, disco balls. So fun. <laughs> Winchesters. <laughs> She's not gonna land here. No, she Because can't. of the stir she caused. Yeah. Art is supposed to make people talk. It made people talk. I don't think we can punish her by putting her here. No, you can't. I hate the dress though. It's an ugly dress. It's horrible. But you know what? We're thinking about like the writing coming off of it and the writing is on it. And yes. it is the statement piece. You're, you're correct. C. I'm a C or a B. Because it's so bold and brave. And it's very... so American. That's a good point. That being said, C is a very good tier this year. The thing with Choice of On is we love the message but it's just a black dress. We love the message, but it's just a white dress. I feel good about C. that now. Yeah. Okay, see. Can we get much higher? So high, ah. Kim Kardashian, what do you think? What are your I'm thoughts? Not, I'm uh, not gonna fight you this year with Kim Kardashian. How did you know? <laughs> she's your favorite. <laughs> Here, she's not. I hated this look so much. Oh. What is it? It's a nothing burger. I don't even know. Like, I don't care that you're pregnant. I'm here for the fashion. This, the second she walked in, I said, that is Kim Kardashian. Why? Because her silhouette, she doesn't need to show as much skin as she always does. Mm -hmm. She puts this on, everybody was talking. Everybody was like, who is that man beside her? Is that Kanye? Are they back together? Did they reconcile? And then when we found out it wasn't Kanye, it was the creative director of Balenciaga, it was like maybe they were making him act like Kanye because he's like a spirit. She's like no face and she's walking in just kind of mourning what she lost. Like you're telling yourself wow. stories. She's like a shadow, but she's so powerful. 
people and everybody kept yes! talking about it. Making fun of it, saying it's offensive, saying it's this, it's that, it's horrible. She's making fun of women in Muslim garb, which my mom wears that. And I was like, hey mom, do you think you look like that? And she's like, no. <laughs> it, she's always stirring up like controversy and that's very American as well. Like just yes. to really get people talking. And I'm really impressed with the look anyways. It's look pure comfort. It's futuristic. It caused an absolute stir and that's what good art Imagine does. Imagine if it wasn't even her. Like if she had like it, a double. It could have not been like the, the, the man beside her wasn't Kanye, but it got all of us talking about it, thinking about it. That's what good art is supposed to do. And I do think this is futuristic. I don't think she just like is wearing a costume. I don't think she just phoned it in. I don't think Balenciaga would phone it in. No. But I think that this was very intentional. It elicited the exact response that she wanted. Everything about it is comfortable. Comfortable, casual, chic. Which is her image anyways. Mm -hmm. With everything with skims and like, she's just put herself into S tier. She has, and I like- and we didn't have to fight her. <laughs> we didn't have to fight her. <laughs> Listen, I get it. I want to hate on her as much as the next person, but this was great. And let me know if you disagree in the comments. You guys probably will. I'd love to fight about this. I, I fought hard for Kim last year. I'm fighting hard again this year. This I'm is the only look that made me year. feel something. Ew, God. Oh, I'm... here, let me do you a favor. I'm just yeah. gonna, just throw them in I'll just do us both a favor here. It's just not. You're being a little harsh. Yes, <laughs> we are being harsh. We're being rude, but it's a suit and it's a black dress. Come on guys. It's the Met. It's the Met. Oh. This one's super hard because I've never seen anyone look so good. I know, it's devastating. My issue is I feel like I've seen this before. It's an ode to the past in Emily from 2018, as well as toxic Britney Spears. It's very American in that you are showing so much skin, yeah. even though you're fully dressed. It's kind of got like an Aub Audrey Hepburn vibe to it. So I, I see a lot of the past. I, British. I don't see a lot of the future. Most beautiful, yes, American fashion. Yes, the future of American fashion. I hope not, because we've seen it before. I don't get bored of seeing it. No, it's never boring to no, see. No, never. It's not much of a statement. No, it's not much of a statement at all. It, we've come to expect it. We did not expect expect Kim wearing that, no. we've come to expect this. Yeah, I would have never guessed Kim was gonna do that. No, <laughs> I don't think anyone would have. No, <laughs> it was shocking. People were like, what is she? That's not, that is not an outfit. I'm still, I'm still Jenny from the blog. I love this one. Why? Because she hit the mark and it's also a beautiful dress. Am I crazy about it? No. When I think Americana, I think old Western. I'm living for this necklace. Her accessories are on point. She's wearing silver and gold. Like she's got the shawl on. She is embodying really the like, West. I love how they're just like, yeah, all the accessories, gold, silver, whatever, put them on. She looks expensive. She looks like a showgirl. Oh my goodness, please. The, the hat's perfect too. It's like, stunning. Imagine coming out on the ranch and seeing her like, <laughs> like there with her bowls. I'd be like, ah. It's stunning. I'm not seeing the future. I'm only seeing the past, but it is a cohesive look. She said, oh, American? Sure, and then she killed it. I think we need to have her a little bit higher. Really? If we can't put her in D with like, we can put her in C. But I think she deserves to be up with I Grimes. I feel like B is her place. I agree. They look good together, these guys. Yeah. Okay, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Converse. Okay, so we're talking about the past here. The baggy pants, the Converse. We're also talking about the future. The mix of luxury, and athleisure, but actually making it look good. I expected that a bunch of guys were gonna do this. I didn't think any of them were gonna pull it off. He pulled it off. We're at a dinner party in 2030. All the guys are wearing this. It works. I would say it's a little more present than I think it is the future. I've never seen these two mixed so seamlessly. And for me, that makes it more like, I can picture guys wearing this eventually, but maybe it's cause he's so handsome. It could be on him, but I'm gonna let that pass and I had to say he nailed the assignment. Especially like just how popular the tuxedo and athleisure have been in America. And like just the seamless, putting those puzzle pieces together, it looks great. I'm gonna give him a C. I would agree with a C. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Sierra, this beat is, what is she wearing? She is wearing Dundas. her husband's jersey. Her husband's jersey done by Dundas. I think it looks like a costume. I'm not getting any future here. I think she looks beautiful. She's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. She's one of the most perfectly shaped women I've ever seen, but this shape is not giving me what she usually gives me. I um, think the opposite. I think the cutout makes like a perfect shape for her. And she's also wearing a Super Bowl ring as her accessory, which is so American. And then she American. has like a little football bag. 
Where's the, like, where's the future though? This is an unfortunate case of thinking that it's about just American fashion. And then Anna Winter showing up the day of and being like, the future, higher. Oh no, it can't go higher than C. It can't go, next to JLo. It's not a statement. No, it is. I'm bored. I'm not bored. I love the football shape. I love how those cutouts that I hate accentuate that V that a I football player American has. I love the American story of it all I too. love the American story too, but I'm not and seeing I the just, future. I think it's the same as the Wild West, like what J-Lo's doing. Like I feel like it's- J-Lo's is, J -Lo's has more moving parts, it's more cohesive. That looks wrong. Okay, put her down. This looks right. I think that J-Lo and her have the same kind of like vibe I think I on. would agree with you and that I think J-Lo's too high. Sorry, J-Lo, I had to do it. Olivia Rodrigo, yeah. She's Beautiful. made such a mark on the music industry, even like fashion-wise as well. The problem is I- I'm bored. I, I'm bored, I've seen this before. I don't know, like, the, the accessories aren't giving me anything. The outfit isn't giving me anything. You know how Kendall looked absolutely stunning, but she was just giving us skin and it didn't surprise us? I'm actually be surprised to see skin from Olivia, but if anybody was wearing this, I'd be like, I don't know, dude. I'm just, I don't feel anything. I don't really get- the theme. It's definitely not on the same level as a uh, candle. Emily Ratajkowski is so pretty. Oh, <laughs> so pretty. I'm bored though. I've seen it before. I don't see the future. It's gorgeous. I don't love this on her. I do because she's got the neck for it. I would definitely say that I've seen that dress. Oh, 100%. I think she deserves to be up here with Kendall. And Megan, they just look good. I mean, but what about Paul Addison? She looks good in a red dress too. You're right. This is just a model doing model things. Frank Ocean with his little green guy. I feel like that this velvet suit is kind of like a mix of the past like and the, the future, the baby. I'm kind of into this. I like the dream core hat. I think he's doing good. A lot of men just wore plain black suits and I hated it. This is a good take on it that I can get behind. I do see the future in this. I see the past in it. Just the past? D. Yeah. I think he could party with Dee. Okay, so this is one of my favorite looks of the night. I see the future in this. If I've, it's 2030, you're going out to dinner. This is what the men are wearing. They look masculine, they look amazing. They're wearing dresses. Again, a lot of people said, I've seen a guy in a dress before, but how good and how intentional does this look? This looks so natural, so effortless, so intentional. I'm a man from the future. This is how we dress now. Get over it. It looks good. You know it looks good. I, I agree with you completely. He understood the assignment. He aced it. The accessories are beautiful. The shoes are stunning. I love like how his tats are showing. This is a man of the future. Okay, so let's throw him in C. B. You think? I would put him in A if you let me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> egg woman. She's an egg woman. How does egg woman make you feel, make you feel? Do you see the past? I want to get We all start at chicken here. or the egg. I don't, I don't get what's <laughs> happening. She's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen, but that egg, I, it's got to go. But there must be so much thought behind there that. Must, there like, must be what? something we're missing. There, there has yeah, to be. Oh, 100% we're so missing So thank it. God we're missing it, because D's getting a little full. <laughs> That's really, really nice. I don't like the material. I feel like it looks a little costumey. It looks like, like something I would wear on Halloween. Like I love the jewelry. I love the teal. I love the texture of it. I like how it's not like super bling. I like the materials used. An indigenous model showing up and just, oh, get in our tier list now. B. A. I agree. Look at that photo. I do wish that this was makeup and not a tattoo because if it was makeup, I would be like, girl, you thought of everything. Head to toe. But even then, head to toe, she's dripping. The drip is undeniable. The color coordination, she's stunning. She looks like royalty. She looks like the future. This is a way to expose us to your culture and kill everybody else in your wake. It's such a powerful photo. I, I can't. It's a power, she's a powerful woman. I was definitely hoping to see denim because before Anna Winter opened her yap and said it's about the future, I was like, denim. <laughs> I feel That'll like that be would be like a good Canadian thing too. Oh, the Canadian tuxedo? <laughs> would just full damn it. Full denim. denim. I don't love the dress. I, like, I don't see the future at all. I just really don't like that dress. I love the I hair. Wish that Look the, at the I texture. I wish that other part maybe wasn't added. I don't know. Where are we going? <sighs> D. No. Maybe F. No, no, no. D. No, no, no. Because she got the assignment. She got the assignment, but not the future aspect of it. Oh, let's go! Horse girl! <laughs> oh, you've been looking forward to this I've one. I've been looking forward to horse girl. You know why? Because horse girls do not get enough exposure for their contribution to American culture. We all know a horse girl. You're a horse girl! Cassie, equestrian. Equestrian, horse girl. Horse girl's like what mean girls say to other mean... <laughs> it's what mean girls say to horse girls. <laughs> There's nothing I love more than Horse Girl. We all knew them. It's a quintessential piece of American culture. Canadian too. 
We love our horse girls. Where would we be without them? I love the shape of the fit. I love the- You're not uh, kidding. You really like horse girl. I do like horse girl. It's stupid, uh -huh. but this, this is it's a very- fun. Okay, yeah, we're all tired, okay? I think that's what it is, though. I think that you're just looking for something that wows you at this I'm point. I'm looking for- I'm, I just want to feel something. Like, all of these rich people are coming together, and they're like, let's show how much we know about stuff. And then horse girl shows up, and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, horse girl. Thank you, horse girl. D. <laughs> What do you make of this? It's like a ray of sunshine. A lot of people were saying that uh, she is best dressed. Oh. Yes. Okay. I would disagree. Is it because it's like wild and big and yeah. nothing else was? Yeah, because everyone else was boring and then when she showed up, she's just like, I am rolling in like a peacock, like a Vegas showgirl, but I'm wearing pants. I got the tube top. I got the, the tiered dress. Like the, there's a, a lot of craftsmanship went into this and I'm here. I look a little ridiculous. It's a little costumey, but I look like a goddess in it. But hey, it's been a rough year and this is what the people want to see. Yes, it, this is what the people want to see. See. It's, it's no. Yeah. Why, where are you putting it? D? I don't know. It, F? Uh, <laughs> it's very regal. Yeah, and it made me really happy to see it after everything that I've seen. Yeah, me too. C. Okay. <laughs> Naomi Osaka and Louis Vuitton. It is really cool. They definitely took more of a risk than they did with Emma Chamberlain here. I like the very Asian inspo. I like how it's tied like a kimono, but like it isn't one. I love the draping sleeves. She probably felt so comfortable, so covered up, but at the same time, like really is making a statement. It really looks like a merge of cultures, which is kind of like the American melting pot kind of thing. Yes. Okay, I don't see the future in the dress. I don't either. But, but then beautiful. again, I don't see the future here, 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 so it works. And see. Gemma Chan. Oh, stunning. <laughs> Very pretty. Love the hair. I don't know if I like the dress. I mean, I do like the trail. I love the trail too, but we've seen trails before. That's stunning. That's Gorgeous. This, it's like a cape, but it's lower. And I like that about it because it seems very futuristic. Like we want to show our backs, us ladies, but we want to wear capes. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dress. It is. I'm going to screenshot this one actually because I like it better. All right. Where are we putting her? Wow. Oh. It even looks good in this small thumbnail. <laughs> it's the future. It's the past. It's everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Evan Mock and Tom Brown. Okay. I'm Evan. Welcome to the Met Gala. I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'm just going to put you somewhere. I feel like you'd be very comfortable. <laughs> Only because Pete and Timothy did what he's doing, but way better. But Pete and Timothy are kind of doing the same thing and we have them on different tiers. They're kind of doing the same thing, but one is way more cohesive and way more just gorgeous. You could wear this to an event. This one is too big of a mix. I like the mask. What is though. it? What, like, what is he going for? The mask is very like this. I see the future here, and I see the past. He understood the assignment. I don't think he deserves to be down there with Addison. But D is full. Sorry. Sorry. I don't like it. I like how it's a bodysuit underneath there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, it is. Yeah, I like that. Can't be wearing just a bodysuit to the Met. What is it? What are, like? What's American about this? Christmas? Snow? She's looking cute. She's looking pretty. She's hanging out. She's just here for the summer or the winter, I guess. My issue is I'm not like. <gasps> just keep like opening I'm with C D's. I know, we just keep opening D's. So oh. put it here. And now you're gonna have to put it down. Down? Yeah. Really? Sorry, Simone, we love you. We really love you. And we probably didn't get the meaning of your dress. We didn't. We don't have the collective IQ to figure out what your dress meant. No. And we didn't research it either. Oh, Tessa Thompson's kind of slaying here. The cowboy boots, so cool. It's like old Western. She's like in a weird shape. Like it's very see-through. It's very American. It's very futuristic. Like the way that it's like kind of like pinstripe down, like but see-through pinstripes. Yeah. I want to see her with the hat on. Oh, oh. let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's, that's the future. That's the past. That's the future that, this is a modern cowboy hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a modern woman showing up understanding the assignment, just going, hey, I'm better than you, and I don't care anymore. She should have kept the hat on the whole time. It's Dang, Tessa, please, you're killing me. Come on, B. Uh, ooh. Come on, B. She looks good definitely there. Definitely B. Yeah, she looks good there. So, Nikki looked absolutely stunning here. The dress, though, is giving me Billie Eilish. I do know the meaning behind the dress. What's the meaning behind the dress? Um, it's an ode to uh, Marsha P. Johnson. Like a, oh. yeah, like a, um, a notable uh, trans activist. So, like, I think that's beautiful. The problem is, is that I don't really like the dress. I think she looks beautiful, though. Like, if I saw her at an event, I'd be screaming. It just sucks when, like, the Met Gala standard is so high. She's definitely like there's other creators who showed up and you know pissed in the pickles I don't think she pissed in the pickles. I think she did a good job here Yeah, she did she did a good job and it is a nod to the past. Mm-hmm. I just don't see the future I see the future in the three-dimensional aspect of it. Uh, Lily Reinhardt was like that known too. That. That's true Like if you hadn't told me like 
I wouldn't have known. Yeah. I do think she did better than Lily Reinhardt. But Reinhard. maybe that should be common knowledge. Like maybe I should have known more. I can't give her an F. No. I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna boost it. Move over, guys. Yeah. Yeah. D is a very good tier this year. Last time we did it to insult them, but this is a really solid tier. This is a good tier list. Like this is the way a tier list should look. It's a nice bell. The problem is, is that all these rich people were hanging out and we were like, what? Give us more! I'm really glad we're that- We're stuck at home. We got like, a lot here. We yeah. got a lot in these top tiers. Yeah, we do. Guys, that is our tier list. Feel free to disagree with us we in the comments. We need it. Well, we I'm sorry, we're just really tired. We are, we are. It's been a long two years. <laughs> it's been a long two years. Me and Carly just don't even know what to do anymore. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Please give Carly a nice pat on the back for coming here. She was a pretty nervous. Pretty nervous, not on camera very often. I forced her. her. Yeah, I forced her. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.